Well guys, we made it. Welcome to the Aquatic Bob's YouTube channel with 2,000 subscribers. Actually, I think we're at 2,001 subscribers, maybe even one or two more by the time the video comes out. But I just want to say a special thank you. Super, man, I, I wish there was a way I could be more personal with some of you guys who have been so supportive um kind with your comments uh the prayers the encouragement the compassion the understanding uh starting out with this youtube channel i've said it a few times i had no great expectations i you know a couple of years ago two years ago i believe i i started very slow and just whatever just wanted to dink around and see what i could do and well come full circle now i actually this this is something i consider to be a huge part of my life and i look forward to these videos uh that we make together and and that you guys get to watch and be part of and participate with the comments and this whole journey has just been amazing i appreciate you guys i love you guys thank you so much <laughs> So I didn't want to do a whole long video tonight. I just wanted to do a couple of cool top-down shots, maybe a couple shots up front in the tank of, of some of my favorite corals. Uh, this is the Top Shelf Aquatics Miss Piggy. And if I can hold my hand still enough, the fish keep coming up to the surface of the water and disturbing the surface of the water too. Uh, this one really getting some beautiful pinks in there with a little bit of green and blue base. A very beautiful one. This is the Haymaker, Top Shelf Aquatics Haymaker. This one doesn't get as much love as it used to, but it's definitely coloring up in my tank more than it ever has before. It's a great grower. Very healthy and hardy, or I should say very hardy. Uh, it's, it's healthy too. Uh, but a very beautiful piece, very beautiful. And it's interesting because the top half here, it's almost like it's all green polyps on it. And then the bottom half is more of like a deeper color and it kind of splits in half and the bases on the bottom area is pink and the bases on the top are like a little, little different variant of the pink color. But very, very cool coral. I actually have a couple of these on eBay posted right now. Uh, this is my personal favorite right here. This is the Circus Freak. Top Shelf Aquatics Circus Freak. This thing is... I, I can't even describe it. Sorry, my arms are <laughs> getting sore already. I can't even describe to you guys how beautiful this looks in person and even on the video I feel like it's not doing it justice but still an amazing coral very very cool to watch some of these different colors pop out in it and and see how it slowly changes over time very proud of this piece here's uh, the crown of the tank the Walt Disney Just the way that this one grows kind of makes it like almost the king of the tank. I think that's its intentions and that's the way it's going to stay for a while. This one here is the Top Shelf Aquatics Bubble Yum. Another very high-end Acropora piece. Um, very beautiful though, coloring up more now than it ever has before, and its growth is amazing on it. I think on their website they sell frags of this. Uh, the cut to order frags are like around a thousand dollars. I know for a while they were like twelve or thirteen hundred. Uh, I do have one frag of this that's healing up. It's it's going to be being posted for sale pretty soon. I'll probably put it at three fifty or four hundred. 
uh, depending. It is a little bit smaller frag, but just another very amazing, beautiful coral. Right below it, this is our Top Shelf Aquatics Carolina Reaper Acro. You'll notice that most of my nicer acros in this tank are Top Shelf Aquatics. I have proof of purchase of all of them, if you guys are interested. One guy bought a Bubble Yum from me not too long ago, and I, I showed him proof of purchase. He loves it. He was so happy to get it. Gave him a great deal. Um, about a third of the price of what they asked for on the actual website and shipped it to them. Things are going great. I'm actually curious to know how the Bubble Yum Frig is doing that he's got. But uh, Carolina Reaper Chalice, or Acro, sorry. <laughs> I, lo I do love me some chalices too. Look at those deep, rich colors down there. Uh, over here, we've got the Bill Murray. Another Top Shelf Aquatics, Bill Murray. Like I said, some of these are coloring up more now than they've ever done before. I think my tank just needed to become more, um, not really weathered or stable, but I think it just had to have more time to, that's the one thing about Acros is, boy, they just do so much better in well, well-established reef tanks and aquariums. Um, those are some of my Top Shelf Acros, and I mean that pun intended too. <laughs> Some of my favorite acros are the top shelf aquatic acros, but uh, this is Voodoo Magic. Not a huge fan of the name, it creeps me out, but <laughs> maybe matches the personality of the coral. And all everything in this tank is just amazing. Uh, let's see if we can get it. Oh yeah, there we go. That's looking great right there. I can probably rest my camera. Yeah, that's great. That's the uh, cherry bomb. Beautiful, beautiful coral. Here's our Acrolandia. I believe it's TGC. Acrolandia. You can see the tips on the bottom left are really taking off. I've only had this coral for like a month now, I believe. And it's it's grown. It's pretty much doubled in size already. It's awesome to see. Uh, this one here is the BK Chem Fruit Loops or BK Chem Fruit Loops. I'm not sure exactly how it's pronounced and said. But uh, very cool piece here. And the pumps are coming back on. <laughs> Let me hit that guy quick. Probably got a few seconds before they all start going crazy. But, uh, yeah. This green one up here, I haven't named it. So I, I got it from a reef shop. Whoops. I'm bumping my lights and everything. I got it from a, a reef shop in Minneapolis. And they said that they had got it. It was maricultured uh, from the ocean. And it had been repopulated a few times in the ocean. And they got a small frag of it. And it wasn't growing very well. Well, it's turned out to be one of the fastest growers in my tank. And just super healthy. Super healthy. Boy, every pump is going crazy. <laughs> Uh, the one thing about these j is sometimes they don't connect like master and slave very well. Uh, so I have to keep changing them and, and just reprogram, reprogramming them individually. Um, there's a cool little jelly bean chalice there. Space Invader. Yeah, everything is just super amazing in this tank right now i just i i love coming home from work every day and looking at the aquarium looking at the tank and everything in here this here is a cb magic stick um i, I believe that's cornbread magic stick i did not buy it from cornbread corals i probably would have paid like three thousand dollars from them uh, I think I've got this for a few hundred bucks. Um, oh, actually from Top Shelf Aquatics I got it. So, but yeah. 
Oh, that Miss Piggy is just so beautiful. Uh, another one with no name. It kind of looks like the Pearl Berry, but it's not. Another Maricultured one. This one I think was called like a Flintstone Acro. Uh, this is Top Shelf Aquatics, the Fuzz. The Fuzz. And that's kind of going to do it for some of my nicer Acros in here. I forgot the Dan Acroid here. Uh, right next to the Bill Murray. They're actually starting to grow over each other. Um, where is it? That one right there is the Zenith Acro. From Aqua SD. It's supposed to get green polyps on it. But uh, let's see here real quick. Let's turn the brightness up a here. Just, I, I, I just love these corals. I love every single coral that I have. Every coral is unique and beautiful in its own way. This is some type of rare bower banky. If you know the name of this, please let me know in the comments. I, I got it from someone. Uh, they didn't even know the name of it. But really cool piece. Got some very nice eclectus mushrooms. Here's a bunch of my frags. I'll probably wrap it up just showing these frags here. But uh, yeah, happy 2,000 subscribers. This is this is huge. This is a really exciting moment in of my journey. And I know some of you guys are uh, excited that we got to this point as well. And that's what that's what I love so much about this YouTube channel is that some of you guys have been such a part of this journey with me uh, that it literally just comes out of my mouth that way. I say us and we at a lot of the time because <laughs> I, I just consider you guys so much as part of my life, part of this channel. And obviously this wouldn't happen without you. So I just, I'm, I'm so grateful. Here's one of the, uh, this, this is one of the haymakers. Not to be confused with home wrecker. <laughs> Some people have done that before. This is the first time I've been able to successfully keep Little Shop of Horror zoanthids. I've had them for a couple weeks, and they're doing great. Just love it. Look at this sucker. Holy moly. Man, God is good. What an amazing creator, right? Let's see if I can get it to focus on. Well, that's good enough. Grandmaster cracks. Oh, here, I'll close with this. So you see the empty frag plug right there. Oh, let's see. Can you see the green on that? I'm kind of excited. There's some red and green coming out on that. But if you look under this, you can barely see the orange there. I can't really see it, but <laughs> there's an OG bounce under that, under that rock back there. He let go of the plug and float around to the back side and I can't get it the space is too tight back there and I can't move all the rocks to get back there so uh, he's gonna have to just either figure it out or hopefully come out or start reproducing back there and splitting but uh but yeah that's gonna do it for this video not gonna keep you guys any longer thanks for watching thanks for being a part of my life and this journey and we're going to keep pressing on together, keep moving forward together. So love you guys. Thanks for watching. Aquatic Bobs out.